Okay, so if you think you have a diesel leak on your Mercedes diesel engine, then you're in the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to tell you the three most likely areas to cause your leak on your engine and how to check them. And the three areas are the diesel fuel injectors and the fuel feed lines and return lines. Obviously, it's a V6, so these are on both sides of the engine. The second area is the high pressure fuel pump and obviously the connections that go on to that as well. And the third area is the fuel filter and the hoses that flow into the filter and then out of it again. And actually I had a leak on my Mercedes fuel filter so uh, towards the end of the video I'm going to show you how I fixed that. Before we get started you'll notice that the engine's not running. So you might be thinking well why doesn't he run it and then you'll see the dripping or spraying or whatever it is. Now the reason I'm not doing that is because on the lower pressure side then you're probably talking 80 or 100 psi fuel pressure but on diesels they have a high pressure fuel pump and these can generate psi into the thousands so if there's a small leak somewhere and i start reaching and leaning in then it can literally cut right through your skin so you don't want to be doing that in the first instance i would always investigate with the engine turned off so let's make a start by inspecting the fuel injectors the fuel injectors themselves are hidden down under here and they're actually not that easy to see. So in order to inspect them you're going to have to remove this central air intake, the air box, and this piece of insulation here as well. And of course because it's a V6 then you'll have to do the same on the other side of the engine as well. If you want to see this process in detail I actually did a video that shows exactly every nut and bolt everything you have to undo to get access and I'll link to that in the description below and also at the end of this video. The stainless steel pipes and fittings are the high pressure diesel supplies to the fuel injectors and the black hoses and black plastic fittings are the return lines so we're looking at each of these injectors in those areas looking for the fuel leak and as you can see everything looks all right. If you had a small leak in this area then you might get away with tightening up the stainless steel nut to give it a better seal or if it's on the return side on the black plastic fittings there's actually a little o-ring that sits in those and a little collet that you pull up to pop them free so that's a way that you can repair that. The next one is um, hoses supplying the high pressure fuel pump so this is the, um, the fuel line that comes from the filter and then the fitting that actually comes out of the high pressure fuel pump and goes to the fuel injectors this is one potential area and as you can see you can kind of see those uh, straight away and, uh, and they're looking okay and the final high probability area is the fuel filter itself which on this engine just sits there in the middle of the V of the engine now the fuel lines themselves are really easy to spot because they often have this special type of fuel clamp on them because they have to be really strong. If you see a hose with this type of spring type um, hose clamp then it's almost certainly not a fuel line because they just wouldn't be strong enough to stop that hose from blowing off. So I've had a little bit of an easy time of it this time because just here I can see that this hose connection is really dirty and underneath I can actually see some uh, pooling uh, diesel so it looks like this hose where it goes into the fuel filter is leaking so I'm just going to clean this up so I can have a better look and see what the problem might be so it looks like this hose um, clamp has been digging into the hose quite a lot and also maybe with movement etc then the end of this hose has started to wear quite a bit but the hose itself it actually doesn't look such um, bad condition and I can see that there's a little bit of extra um, extra length on the hose here. So what I'm proposing to do is to undo that clamp and they can be used again if you're careful with them. And then snip off the minimum amount necessary from the hose, so maybe about 10 or 12 millimeters. And then push that hose back again and reattach the clamp. If that doesn't work and I still get a problem then I do have the option to uh, fit a uh, replacement length of hose. So what you can do is you can just get some pliers at the back edge here and at the front edge there and you can squeeze that clip a little bit and then using a screwdriver you can just um, pop it loose just like that and now with the clip undone you should be able to slide the hose off of the fuel filter and here under the clip you can see some damage to the hose and you can see there's a little bit of a split at the end of the hose as well 
So I'm just going to snip off the end of the hose to remove the damaged section. Now all you have to do is push the hose back onto the filter and then slide the clamp back into place and then finally squeeze the clamp to click it back in. Again pliers and a screwdriver will help you click the clamp back closed. Hopefully this video helped you and if it did then please consider giving me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to make sure you get to see my next video. And finally if you want to see more videos just like this one then why not check out the recommended videos on the right. Okay thanks for watching, catch you next time.